You probably found this video because you have a serious problem in your photo. The problem is color cast. And a color cast isn't, well, a color cast isn't a problem, but an unwanted color cast is a problem. Because it's a color in your photo you don't want. And the reason why you found my video is because you can't really fix it. You did everything to try to get the color out or get the balance in the photo and just won't work. Well, I have the solution for you and you can fix it with Lightroom. You need Lightroom Classic to fix it because it's the calibration tool, uh, but you can definitely fix it and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So I already made a video about this and it went pretty viral. Uh, I think across all my platforms, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram about seven or eight million views. So clearly this is a problem a lot of people have. But I decided to make another video to go a little bit more in detail because uh, on how and why you can fix it or how you should fix it probably. That's the, most, the, the best thing to say. Um, but also some, um, some negatives about the video because some people stating that you can fix it with white balance. So I don't have to tell you because you're looking at this video White balance isn't the way to fix it because you white balance the shit out of your photo and it doesn't work for obvious reasons. I will go into that a little bit uh, further on. Um, but white balance is a sol isn't the solution to this problem. And also uh, people saying that it's not true to the original um, place where I took the photo or we took the photo. So I, I always find it very interesting when people say it's not true to the original location. Well, it's photography. Every time you shoot a photo, it's never the same as you see in real life. Even if I look at something in real life and you look at something in real life, we see two different things. The same as with your camera. Your camera interpretation of a moment in time or a person is different from what you see in real life. And that's the thing that you want to do as a photographer. You want to show your truth or your way of looking at it. My whole career as a wedding photographer is built on telling stories uh, for people from people in my way. I'm just, I'm a storyteller. So I want to do with colors what I want to do with colors. I don't want to show people like it's really was. I want to make it a little beautiful or, or want to make it my own interpretation. So if you want to fix the color cast, you need to fluffing, fix the color cast. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to dive into my computer to show you how to fix these problems. So right now we're in my computer and uh, you see the first example. That's a magenta photo. Normally you will change the white balance of a photo to make the photo correct. In this case, we got so much magenta or like the, the purple uh, pink color. We can't really fix it with the, with the white balance. So if I would choose the white balance auto picker, I'll choose a dress because I know her dress is white. Well, it does some part of a job, but just it still looks like shit. For good reason, because the white balance can't really fix it. And then you start going to the hole and going to the color mixer, trying all kinds of stuff, and it just doesn't work. So the white balance picker can't really help you in this. So I'll put the, the, the white balance back. It really can't help you. So you do two things to fix this problem. That's it. The tone curves. And you need the calibration. So first of all, you need the tone curves. And what you're going to do, and that's the science part of color. So every color, um, every primary color has a complementary color uh, and the other way around. So if you go to the magenta, we can go to the green and green is a primary color and magenta is the complementary color of green. So when I will pull this tone curves, tone curve more to the primary like this, already putting in more green in the photo still doesn't look a big difference but already there's less magenta then we have to go a little bit more sciencey we have to go to the calibration so what is a calibration tool uh, this is a very short version of a calibration tool but a calibration tool you change the rgb of your camera so every camera has an rgb light perception and if it's a canon or a nikon or a sony Every, has a, every camera has a different color science to it, but it's built off RGB colors. So the mixing of RGB. So in the calibration tool, you will mix up your RGB colors. And to fix it, we have to move it around to get the color right. So for this, I'm going to change a lot. So 
again it's a it's a question of primary version secondary color so in this case it's magenta so i know i want to pull this one a little bit up this one a little bit down like this this one a little bit down well i, I like to type it because it's just faster minus 61 well this will I already seen the calling getting way way better so here let's do nine because i did it a lot so i know how to <laughs> to crunch in the numbers uh but if you use the same uh, numbers as as i use you can um have the same results but you have to only have to tweak the calibration or a little bit in your uh, tone curves to like pull it back so it's this too green it's too magenta and you're looking for the balance you like that's what you do it's as simple as that and if you see without the calibration tool or with it's a huge difference it looks so much better see the difference so those two make up your photo and make it really great so the second example is red this photo was taken in barcelona spanish wedding um i traveled all, the, the, all over the world to shoot weddings and it was a very beautiful location but i had a spanish night and spanish night means red light so again always well you can still use the the, um, the white balance picker and you'll see it do it it does a great job but this is, isn't enough for me because this is still a flat looking photo i wanted to have a little bit more pop already pulled up the the, the, the light because it was quite a dark setting um pull up the lights so again what are we going to do we're going to the red part and this is the primary the red and we're going to the opposite so this a little bit like that and again doesn't look great but hold on we have to go to the calibration tool and again i don't know where why i work from the bottom to the top i always do that from the bottom to the top um I have a quite big screen, that's why I'm looking around a lot. <laughs> um, 19. Um, minus, and then plus. So, photos already a lot, lot better. Um, still, you can give it a little bit more like a, a vibe, or you don't give it a vibe, but you still isn't really popping out. So, what I could do is use a mask. So, it's also a creative part to this. So I could use a mask, shift M. I could do it like this. Let him pop out a little bit more. Like this. And it's already so much better. And if you see the difference with this, using the backslash or to the original photo. Oh, it doesn't go to the original photo. Why it doesn't go to the original photo? I don't know. Um like this so this original photo this photo edited so it's quite cold in the the color grading you could make it a little bit warmer you could add a little bit more warmth to the photo like this the back is a little bit too blue for me so you could say well i'm making uh, another filter um i will use a brush for now so, so just to say i would want the blue to be this blue you could um Make them more different color. So that's how you can make the photo better. Now the third photo is in a yellow light setting. This was a shot in a church. Beautiful setting, but the light was just horrible. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna change the white balance. So press on the address. So it's already getting way, way better, but it still looks very, very flat. And we don't like flat photos. So what are you going to do? Again, the, 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 the primary color is blue. And the complementary color is a yellow. Well, yellow was the problem, so we have to go a little bit towards the blue. Then we go to the um, to the coloration tool. Scrunching some numbers, the magic numbers, and we're gonna mix up the, those RGBs to make it look better. So our skin tone has to be a little bit better, like this. Yeah, our skin tone is better. So you can see it here if, if I. Move this around, it can make your skin tone a little bit better. Um, again, big, big difference. Looks way better. But we could do it more interesting because still her dress is yellowish. And I don't like a yellow dress. Because she didn't bought a yellow dress. 
So we go to the saturation. I'm guessing. Well, you could do it like this. This yellow part. You can pull the yellow away. It looks so much better. And still, you have your own in interpretation of the photo. If you said, well, I still want to add some white balance, some more like the, the, um, the white balance vibe to the photo. You have to change the, the, uh, her skin color because it's becoming too red. You can say, I leave it like that. That's up to you. So I could say, well, I want to give a little, more, little bit more of this. I want to change her skin color. Oh, sorry, skin color a little bit. Where is it? Uh, and you want to change the skin color, you can do it like this. Still comes to, um, I think I like, I like this version. So. And now we've made a photo a little bit interesting. And if you say, I want to, I don't like the, the, the color around here, you could make masks and you could make, um, radio mask and say, well, I want different colors in this space. I want this color to be really crazy, uh, like this. Just make it very, so like this. And I want to make another one, like this here. You can do all kinds of stuff. I know, and go really crazy. That's blue. Maybe this is a bad example, a more green. So you could still add in different colors, but the most important part is that they uh, that they are very neutral in light. It just looks better. The people around can have a different color. That doesn't matter. But the the the, the bright and in this case her brother just look better. So everything is free to your own interpretation. It doesn't matter what you want to do with a photo. It, it's it, the most important part is you can fix the color cast. The color cast is the biggest problem. In this case, I fixed the color cast problem so you can fix the color cast problem. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, visit my channel. Uh, also on my Instagram, I share a lot of these kind of hacks, uh, little Lightroom hacks and stuff. If you're interested, check it out. If you have other Lightroom problems you or color f in your photo problems, let me know in the comments and I'll happily help you with the solution to your problem because we don't need problems we need solutions to all our lightroom problems <laughs> till next time